So I know there's a pretty interesting story behind this. How did the car get named the Daytona and not the Shelby Cobra or Shelby Coupe? How did, how did the name Daytona get attached to the car? Well, it's interesting because uh, when uh, I first tried to talk Carol into doing the car, uh, he was actually pretty excited at first. And, and then we had all of this big division in the company and nobody wanted to build it. So when we started building it, it was called the Brock Coupe. Actually, this yes. is Brock's Folly. Brock's Folly. Brock's Folly, you know, everybody called it Brock's Folly. But on the drawing, it's the Brock Coupe. So as we got farther along and built the car, and then Ken went out and tested it, and it was obvious we were going to go to Daytona, the guys in the shop started calling it our Daytona car. Oh, okay. And at that point, uh, when we began to call it our Daytona car, it was the Daytona and the Daytona Coupe. And then our press release first came out announcing that uh, because the car was going to be run at Daytona, that was the name we were going to put on it.